Uh, hello and welcome to another video and this time we're going to look at the uh, beta uh, lighting software which has just been released uh, in the test channel. Um, we'll do a more detailed video after the uh, beta is over but be aware that everything is beta software at the moment so things could change before final release. So let's get into it. Um, the, we've got a map here and uh, if we unlock the map we now see our new information panel um, with the toggles for line of sight and lighting amongst other things uh, now much more clearly visible. Uh, we can uh, toggle uh, these off uh, or on here by default lighting and line of sight are on. Up in the top panel here we can go to our lighting menu um, and this uh, opens up a new panel with uh, a number of presets and in the line below we have got a uh, different functionality. So we've got the edit button as usual, we've got uh, adding lights, uh, static lights, we've got token lights, we've got token vision and we also have ambient lighting. And let's look at the ambient lighting first. Um, by default uh, there is no lighting at all uh, on the map. If we look at the player's version all we see is a black map. There's no tokens on the map of course so we're not going to see anything. Um, but by default uh, we have uh, nothing. Um, if we wanted to add some ambient lighting uh, we can uh, turn this, uh, we can select from the presets here, let's say we wanted dawn um, and once we select that we now see that the dawn has uh, arrived on this map. Uh, if we zoom a little bit you can see that there are shadows around the walls. We can adjust the length of these shadows we can adjust the color of the shadows if we want to make them uh, darker uh, or a weird green color or anything you like. Uh, you can also adjust with the slider and you can adjust the uh, opacity as well, make the shadows darker or lighter. Um, you've got various presets. We've got uh, sunlight, we've got dusk and we've got uh, moonlight as well as dawn. And again, you're free to change all of that. You can uh, change the uh, color of the overall uh, lighting to whatever you like. And you can also change the opacity, how dark or how light everything is. So uh, everything uh, in there for the overall map. Now, if uh, we wanted, this is obviously an exterior light to some extent. But if we didn't want uh, to have ambient lighting in a particular area of the map, then we can add a mask to the map uh, by clicking on the add mask. Uh, we then uh, select the hide area icon and then we just uh, draw over the areas that we do not want the uh, ambient lighting to shine in and uh, therefore these areas will not uh, have the ambient lighting on them. If we zoom out we can see that the ambient light is uh, everywhere except in the areas that we have uh, now masked. We can now free to add lights into these areas as well. Uh, we can now add some uh, lights to these internal areas if we like. We uh, can add our uh, add light or we can go to our add light menu. Here again we've got a, a range of uh, buttons and various presets. Um, if we select uh, the torch for example um, and we can have that uh, flickering uh, or we can have it pulsing or flashing or we can have no effect on it, we can adjust the speed of that. Uh, once we've uh, set all this up with the range, uh, how uh, much uh, distance it goes out and what the uh, sort of fade is, the percentage fade is, uh, once we're happy with that we just click on the map where we want our light to be and uh, there we go, we have our light. We can uh, change the color of these lights. So we could have a blue light in here, uh, we can have a green light in there. Um, we can edit these uh, if we don't really want it, we can uh, select a number of lights. Uh, we can uh, then move that light around if we wanted to, uh, or we can simply uh, delete it if we don't like it. Uh, if we uh, select one of the lights we can uh, change the animation of that light uh, to different things um, and uh, everything is, is wholly editable. We can uh, pick this one, uh, we could uh, adjust the flicker speed, not a very good example because we can't see the flicker much in there. Um, but at any rate you've got all the 
uh, availabilities uh, of uh, all the lights, colors, etc. are in there. Uh, you can also add in uh, a darkness light. So if we select darkness, we can make that light dark. Um, so this will be useful for things like uh, darkness spells and so on. You can add these uh, to the map. Um, uh, so if we now want to add some uh, uh, characters to the map, um, let's uh, move our map over a little bit and let's add uh, Bob uh, onto this map here. And once Bob is placed on the map, you can see that he actually can see quite a distance. Um, this is because Bob has a dark vision by default. He's a dwarf. Um, so he's got dark vision out to 60. So if you've got a character um, that has dark vision and you've got the senses filled in here with the uh, type of vision and the uh, length uh, of vision or the distance, then whenever you place that token uh, on the map, it will uh, automatically um, make the uh, it will automatically add that to the uh, character token. Uh, we can see this a little bit better if we uh, switch off the ambient uh, light. If we go to back to our ambient light and switch that off, we can see that um, uh, Bob here now can see this area here and it's kind of greyed out because it's got dark vision. If we have a look at the player view here, we can see uh, exactly what Bob's seeing. And because he's got dark vision, everything is greyed out. Uh, we can add other types to uh, of vision to the uh, token. Uh, if we uh, click on the uh, token vision map here, um, we can see that it's preset here to uh, dark vision because Bob has dark vision, but we can change that uh, if we want to to blind sight uh, or true sight. And as long as we have our token selected, uh, the type of vision will be uh, changed. And we can add several types of vision to um, the uh, character token, and we can cycle through these using the uh, add light uh, button here, depending on which one uh, he's got on. Uh, if we uh, add Jane to the uh, map, uh, Jane has. Uh, well, let's uh, remove. Let's remove Bob. Uh, Jane uh, has no uh, light sources at all. Uh, she's a uh, human and if we again if we switch off the uh, ambient light the ambient light is off um, actually what we need to do is show you the player screen uh, we can see that uh, Jane uh, sees absolutely nothing so we can add lights to uh, Jane uh, for example uh, we can do this using the token light button here again we've got presets uh, so let's give uh, Jane a torch Make sure that the token is, is selected. Uh, we'll give Jane a torch and then we will add a light to uh, Jane. Uh, you can see now that uh, Jane has a torch which is showing bright light out to 20 feet um, and dim light out to 40 feet. And the fall off here percentages uh, is the area between the way of lights. So it kind of fuzzes that uh, light out so that it doesn't just end sharply. You can uh, alter this uh, from 1 to 100 and that will determine how fuzzy the changes in the light can be. If we look at the player view, you can see that uh, Jane's uh, torch is lighting up the area. Uh, and when we uh, move Jane, uh, we can see that the uh, light goes with her. If we, oh, we're back into play mode, of course. Um, and when we uh, move chain, uh, the light uh, goes uh, with her. Uh, again, we are not uh, restricted to the, just the presets. Um, we've given her a, a, a torch here. Uh, but we can uh, give her anything we like and uh, make it any color we want. So if we wanted to give her some kind of uh, blue uh, light, for example, uh, then we can just simply change the color and uh, she has that particular light. Uh, we can remove that uh, light from her here using the delete light button. And um, we can also use effects to add lights to a character. Um, if we have a look at Jane here, we've got uh, some uh, lighting uh, effects set up here. Um, and if we uh, add the light 20 torch, then it basically it's going to do exactly the same thing as we did here by adding a torch 
uh, via this panel, but um, you can uh, use effects to do that so that things can be uh, switched on and off. Uh, we can remove that from the uh, combat tracker and we could uh, give her a uh, true sight as well um, using the uh, vision effect. Uh, so you can have a variety of effects uh, on a, a player character. Uh, maybe they've got torches, candles, various other magical lights, etc. You can set these up as effects and then just apply them as and when uh, they are needed. Um, for the DM, um, play, uh, non player characters also uh, have a vision. Uh, so if we place this orc uh, on the map here um, and make it uh, visible, we can see that the orc, because it's got dark vision, um, can see. Uh, in grayscale uh, all of this area. If we uh, add the veteran, um, the veteran doesn't have any such uh, vision. Uh, so when we select the veteran, uh, he can't uh, see anything. He can see Bob's light, he can see Jane's light, but he can't see uh, around. Uh, if we switch over to the uh, player's view, uh, we have uh, Jane here. Uh, once Jane starts to move, uh, let's remove the token lock, uh, which is now uh, up here in this panel. Um, if we uh, start to move Jane around, uh, then when she uh, sees a token or when a token comes into her range of vision, then the token becomes visible. If she's not within range of the uh, enemy token, then she won't see it. Um, if we keep moving down, she begins to see the uh, orc now. And uh, as we move away, then the tokens will uh, disappear depending on where we are. And of course, the line of sight works with all of this as well in the same way as it's done uh, before. Uh, okay, uh, this has been uh, very quick and very dirty. Um, I hope it's uh, useful, but remember this is still in beta, uh, so things may change before uh, final release. Uh, but I will release some more videos uh, once the uh, lighting is finalised. Uh, thanks for watching, cheers for now.